This is Jesse Ann Nichols George and um, coming to you today from a little town called Mitchell, South Dakota. And um, those of you who know me know that it was a little less than a year ago I claimed residency in South Dakota. And um, even though Mitchell isn't quite the town <laughs> that I claimed it in, they have this really amazing thing. And what I'm shooting here is the Mitchell Corn Palace, which is amazing. It's the world's only uh, corn palace that there is. And every year you might see some construction trucks here. Every year what they do is they pull everything off of the building and then during the summer they recreate brand new scenery on the building and it's all done from the corn and the oats and the um, grains that are grown right here in the area and corn is very very big around here so um, what's fascinating is this brings together a cycle that is very important um, in our seasonal year and the cycle being that a lot of this has been done to continue to uh, in tradition ensure great crops it's kind of like an aspect of tithing if you want to say that and and giving and uh, and so what what it's done is they've taken that and it's thousands and thousands and thousands of um, corn cobs and things that have been put together to create the designs and to bring about the history and to continue to allow the area to prosper and to thrive and this is something that's been done in a lot of cultures around a lot of countries is really to bring about this thriving and to bring about the aspect of um, tithing the aspect of doing something with crop that maybe either wasn't usable or edible for some reason but just also to continue to keep it going this aspect of tithing for prospering um, and that's not such a bad thing it's a way of giving back and uh, to put it in such an artistic form like this it really brings home so it really brings some seasonal stuff and I'm going to walk around the side of the building here as well because it goes all the way around this building and like I said every single year they redo this aspect and you're going to get a chance to see this in a minute every single year they redo the aspect here of the designs and uh, and it's really incredible there's a really great shot of one of the uh, murals that's done and it's done completely out of corn cobs completely out of corn cobs it's amazing and the perimeter, the border, is done out of some of the husks, which you can see on there. Um, but it's truly amazing, and as we go around here, and actually there's uh, murals all down the side, but I'm going to give you a chance. And this just comes back to some things that I've put in perspective, and I've got to kind of excuse uh, some things here as I drop around in the areas. Uh, it puts in perspective the aspects of seasons and the turnings of the year. And every fall they do a big festival here where they celebrate the new design that goes in once it's completed. And that's pretty fascinating as well. So as you can see, there's just all kinds of animal totems. Um, you see this oftentimes when you go into museums as well, where you see the different designs of the history and the culture. and. You can see there was a buffalo there, which is very big around the area of South Dakota. Um, you can see the wagons and fielding. And we're moving on there to a great uh, wolf, wolf coyote emblem. And moving on down, it goes all the way through down here on this end. There is um, actually the Native American culture, which is also very, very strong around here. Um, and a couple of different tribes riding through as well in their land. So it's important, again, these cycles and these seasons, and a lot of my events are based around these cycles and these seasons, and it's absolutely incredible to experience this and to see this building, which is just completely covered in this amazing artwork, and to see these traditions carried out. And these are part of putting us in alignment with divine energy anytime that we are honoring the cycles and the seasons like they're doing with this artwork and with this building um it really brings us into our flow and people oftentimes wonder where you know where's it happening i'm putting all this energy into something and i'm not seeing the results oftentimes it's because we're doing it out of sync 
from the season. So I wanted to share this and I wanted to bring this to you while I was passing through the area um, on my way on into Sioux Falls. And then uh, of course everybody knows that coming up on May Day weekend I'll be out in Palo, Iowa. <laughs> For those that don't know that, that's right, uh, not too far from the Illinois uh, border out there in Iowa and we'll be doing a full weekend event there in alignment with the May Day energy. So, um, it's so incredible and I hope you'll take the time to honor this. Right now, like I said, the construction you saw up front um, is because they're in the process of starting to take down this design which has been up for a year and then uh, they'll be putting up a brand new design. Hey, it's been fun to bring this to you. Take care and I'll catch up with you later. You can learn more about my work and my events and things that are going on. Jessie Ann Nichols George, the number one dot com. Bye bye.